Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on a ultimate custom Ford Sunliner convertible. And we are going to walk around and look at some of the detail that makes this car significantly different than any other Sunliner you've ever seen. We even get to see George Barris's signature on the glove box, which is he is just legendary to begin with as well. Uh, I don't know if George Barris had a hand in this because I don't know all the way back to that time, but uh, this car here, as we look at some of this, the effort, the effort that's been put into it, you'll be pretty impressed because a lot of times what I'll get from people is, that's a great looking car tone. I love it, it's beautiful, but we really don't know why it's beautiful and now we need to see why is it beautiful. All right, so we start off some of the details that make a car great looking. For instance, because this car is custom, it has Cadillac hubcaps on it. It has wide whites. These are also radial wide whites, which is a big difference in the old school belted wide whites. It drives much better. I've driven this car, it drives great. Not to mention, I'm gonna tell you, when we were out driving the car, right? Everybody stopped to take pictures. Everybody was asking questions, a million the thumbs up. It was one of the most impressive cars on the road that we've ever seen. So anyway, I just want you to know that if that's okay with you, then I would say get this car. But if you're looking to be under the radar and you don't want anybody to bother you, I would say this might not be for you. All right, back to the car. These hood louvers, right? Wow, how does this happen? Well, somebody has a punch and they have to do all of these louvers by hand, line them up, make sure they're in the right spot, make sure they're straight. There's a lot, a lot of effort that went into this. And then we talk about the grill as well. Look at all the chrome, uh, the bumper is beautifully done, all the stainless is nice and polished. We are just talking about a few small things at the moment, just in this area here, the dual spotlights on the car. They just make me smile when I think about dual spotlights, maybe a little before my time, but it's still a cool, cool piece. Anyway, let's take a peek under the hood because we got great power, we got some rumble under there, and we got some detail too. All right, so you may wanna go to a car show or something like that, and this is nice. It's got the chrome engine dress up package, and it has a few things under the hood that you may have not uh, thought to ask about. One of those, power steering. This car has power steering, you want that. Power brakes, you want power brakes, right? Because this is a lot of car, and if you load it up with six people and have some fun and go, uh, maybe this is a beach car or whatever it is you're doing with it, you want it to drive well, it just drives great, and it makes this great rumble going down the road. Great power, just a nice, nice, nice driving car. I think you'd really, really be happy with it. All right, so like this is a lot of effort in the car back here, why I wanna spend a second doing this. For instance, let's look at these quarter panels. These are custom molded taillights into here, right? This has a Continental kit and this extension piece here. It has a dual exhaust underneath, all the chrome and stainless is done. This is all hand painted pinstripes that are here. Here's the cool thing about it too. If you don't love some of the things on the car, they can be changed. It's all just kind of bolt on stuff. For instance, this is an extension. You don't have to have this in the Continental kit. The bumper bolts on uh, right here if you want to. It's like all cars with Continental kits are just extensions to them, right? And then the, uh, as, far as, the, as, as far as the Continental kit goes though, however, it's super easy to use if you like it and it moves right out of the way. Uh, and then we open the trunk. And so we open the trunk. And now when we look inside here, uh, we see how detailed it is there too. It's all carpeted and, and, and uh, new mats and a spare tire cover and all of the good stuff that's in there. But it's just detail stuff and extra effort that went into it. And that's really what I like to talk about because some people just don't do anything to a trunk. They just spray paint it and that's it. Before we get in, I wanted you to look what it looks like when you walk up to your cool car. It just looks amazing from the outside. Now, once we get in, keep in mind this car seats six people comfortably. Can you imagine going to dinner uh, with another uh, couple couples or the kids or something like that, right? This would just be absolutely so much fun. This is uh, a great interior. So on purpose, um, I didn't do anything with the steering wheel. I want to share with you why, because I wanted you to have a hand in that decision. So I'm either going to color match this with the dash and everything because it looks so good, or we could upgrade it to maybe a billet style steering wheel, uh, which would add another kind of hot rod feel to it. The dash all nice and stock with real gauges that are there, plus an upset, uh, an extra set of aftermarket gauges. The original AM radio is in place. We could hide a nice digital sound system in the glove box for you. So you can keep this all stock, but stream all the great tunes that you want, right? And then George Barris's signatures right there on the dash. That is just, uh, to me, like if you're into cars at all, man, this guy was a cutting edge of cars. I'm not sure why his signature is there, but he must have loved this car enough to, to put his name on it because he didn't put his name on everything. 
And lastly, it just fits when you drive it. I'm telling you, I drove this car, and when you drive this car, people love it. It just feels good, it looks good, and even sounds better. All right, so we're gonna go close up this video. Let's run down a couple of things we saw. We saw wide whites. We saw a beautifully a louvered hood. We saw the lake pipes on the side here, the dual spotlights. Uh, we also saw the, uh, the Continental kit on the back, custom tail lights that are back there. Uh, going on and on, the interior's got custom pieces in it. Uh, I'm probably forgetting a million things that it is because it's so many things on this car. It's such a great, great car. I will say this to you that, that although this car is great looking, it's also great driving and it has the coolest name of any car ever, Ford Sunliner, right? Sunliner convertible, just sounds great. And then uh, I throw in the color because I love to say the color over and over and I have to read it because it's so great. Mandarin Orange Whip, excuse me. I'll, if you need me, I'll be out in my Mandarin Orange Whip uh, Sunliner convertible and I'll see you on the test drive. We're getting honks and thumbs up for people loving the 56 Sunliner. What a great name for a car, man. Sunliner, right? Such a, I don't know. It's just a great, I, we're, we're wheeling around. People just love it. I love it. I feel smiling and happy today. This is just amazing. Amazing. And I have to tell you that it drives so nice. The power steering is great. The power brakes are nice. The power top is so great to have. And this totally 56-ish dash is just fabulous, man. It, you know, they're making toasters and things like that today to look like old school 50s vintage appliances because there was such great style. Take a second and look at this dash, including George Barris's signature right there. It is amazing. Anyway, I will see you on the next test drive.